Hello, my name is Brandon, and welcome to Retro Reactions, a place where I experience amazing music from the 70s, 80s, and 90s for the very first time. And today we're going to be traveling all the way back to 1975 to listen to Drink of Water by Ambrosia. Always happy to get back into more Ambrosia. Their sound is absolutely incredible. Anyway, this one comes from the album Ambrosia as well, their debut album, and features, of course, the great Alan Parsons as the mixing engineer. So let's get right into it. Anyway, if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button as well as the notification bell to join the Retro Reactions community where it's all amazing music all the time. Here we go. Right there, right there, wow. I was gonna pause, but then I heard that amazing electric guitar solo. I thought the beginning guitar work was great. Then we get that, 
and then I'm like, can't pause during a solo, so I wait, and then they give us this slow section. Uh, you know what that does to me? Then I think I heard some thunder, some voices. You know I love non-musical elements in songs, so wow, you know, it just went from like here to like whew, way, way, way up there. Very progressive, this song, progressive rock. Really enjoying it. I know that's what they did on their debut album, at least, until they moved on to the more yacht rock sound. And just loving this so much. Perfect for a final song. It's epic. It's progressive. It's a strong, strong song. So they start with a packed with a power punch type of opening. Really nice way to set the tone. Usually songs start soft and then grow. But when they start way up here, that's really special. Anyway, it quickly moves into a smooth rockabye type of feeling. And that's achieved with, you know, the softer drums, that amazing smooth organ, and those oohs, those soft, smooth oohs in the um, backing vocal. Great combination there. Yeah, lots of great and diverse electric guitar work going on, of course, by David Pack. Really enjoying that. Uh, I love the amount of excellent backing vocals we're getting on this one. You know, they're shining bright. They're also diverse, and they sound as strong as the lead vocal for sure. Don't know where we're going next, but that slow section before my pause has me absolutely captivated. So let's continue. So we get just a nice, soft, subdued, you know, resolution-filled ending, very quiet, a little bit of percussion in the back there. Interesting song, really interesting. Compare it to something like, you know, How Much I Feel, you know, Light Years Apart. 
Yeah, I love that slow, misty section, I'll call it, after my pause. You know, it felt like we entered a calm, gentle storm, if that makes sense. I don't know, I got water vibes for sure. Again, I think I heard some thunder there. Um, it felt like the younger cousin of Riders on the Storm by the Doors. I don't know, feels like they could be mixed together somehow. Anyway, really, really cool. One of my favorite parts of the song, obviously. And yes, I heard the word storm in the lyrics, I'm pretty sure. So makes sense that they were conveying, you know, a storm, a gentle storm through the music. Could have sworn I heard a female voice at the end going into the stratosphere. You never know, though. It could have been David, Joe, Christopher, or Burley. Maybe you guys can tell me if you know. Also, I love that in the final verse, his vocals sounded even stronger somehow. I think he was doing extra vocal runs there for added climactic impact, and it certainly impacted me. All in all, just a superb song, but it's Ambrosia, so no surprise. Okay, definitely some deep life lyrics here. I think the song discusses the goals, struggles, priorities, and temptations we deal with in this journey called life. Many of us tend to desire something greater or other than what we need and what will truly make us happy. We may end up ignoring the gifts that are placed right before us. A wealth and lavish things do not always lead to happiness. A life is a long journey with many guaranteed ups and downs. The key is to head in the right direction and always seek the real gold, things of great value that will fully enrich our lives and our growth. Excellent song. Glad I followed your guidance today. I'm giving this one five golden records. Yes, an A slash A plus for Drink of Water by Ambrosia, 1975. Thank you so much, David Pack, Christopher North, Joe Puerta, and Burley Drummond. All right, that's it for now. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below if you wish to chat about this amazing song or anything by Ambrosia. Would love to know your favorites. So you take care, stay safe, stay hydrated, and remember to let peace, calm, and light into your day and night. And I'll see you next time in the past.